What's up, Kelsey? What's up, Robert? It's Friday Roundup is what's up. It's the Antope on Fridays. <sighs> okay. Told you last time, movies are ramping up for that spooky season. Yes, indeed. Right? I got a shit ton of that. Hell yes. I got a shit ton of that. So many. So, let's hop into movies. We're going to open with the not-so-spookies. Right? Okay. This is going to defy how i order this most every time okay there's some just there's just stuff happening i have the order i have you just you just get to have that and like it just sit back and relax so here we go on september 19th next tuesday should you so choose to go buy some movies here's your first one not so spooky little mermaid is out finally oh nice on 4K. okay it's been a long time since that came out in theaters i know that was like last year December? It was a long time ago. Maybe. It was a while ago. I can't remember when. Um, so this right here, right? You can only get the 4K through the Disney Movie Club. Of course. <laughs> and that's this cover, right? But what's weird is you can still get the 4K without the Movie Club if you just go to Best Buy and get the Bomb Steelbook. This looks way better. This is actually a really good steel book. Oh my god, this is good. We love it when they book. take the text off the front. It looks so clean. Oh yeah. Clean it up. I don't want to see nothing. Because I know what it is. I know what it is. Plus, it says it right here. Right here yeah. on the edge. Look at that. Right there. You Little Mermaid. Subtle. Okay. So, I have to join a club to get like a basic copy in 4K. Yeah. But I can just go to Best Buy, leave with a really far, like, I was staring at it. This is, like, so not the color palette for The Little Mermaid for me. I know. It's so the pretty. Blue it's, is, like, right? all this gorgeous pink sunset yes. orange situation. I love that. Like, this not only looks good, it is, like, changed. Like, it's taken my expectations, thrown them out the fucking window. Yeah. This is not the color that I expect. This is the color that I expect. Yeah. And boom, you get this. Boom. It's, you're just not ready for that cover. It's good. And it's got can the 4K zoom? in there. Can we yeah. zoom in on the back? I want to see the, the, the castle. Oh, yeah. And the chanacles. There you go. Pretty. I love this. It's good. It's a pretty solid steel book. Like, I mean, the middle, you, you know, the inside's fine. <laughs> Look you, how know, pretty. you know what would have made this a little better? What? Just take the side side people off. We don't need these people. We just people. want the mermaid. Yeah, this is all we need on the front. That's all you I know, need. You don't need to like shoehorn in. The, and this, that's just the character portrait with like Photoshop splashes around him. I hate him. I mean, I hate looks, how dead he looks. I mean, he doesn't look good, but like the splash, like it looks good, like it fits in the scene. For yeah, knowing that sure. it's not really there. But like, what are all these guys' names? That's that's Flounder, and then Sebastian Flounder, was the the crab, the crab, and who's then the, who's Scuttle, Scuttle. Scuttle. That's right. Yeah, played by Aquafina has the song Scuttlebutt now. Oh my god, phenomenal song! Ah, I love that song. I think it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid, which is why I really like it. But anyway, fucking weird. Why? Why do this? You know. Yeah. Um, but anyway, that's your like one like not so spooky. Because now we're going to go like progressively spooky as we go up the chain here. Nice. Okay. That's how I ordered it. You've got the pattern now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, we've talked about this steel book before. Because normally I save steel books for the end. Ugh, yes. But this is the steel book for fall. Kind of a spooky movie. You're you know, trapped yeah. in a place that you probably shouldn't be. Right? It looks good. I like, like this steel book. book. Yeah. Yeah, it's gorgeous. They're drawn, too. It's so cool. I am loving how everything's just drawn now. Even if it's just a, a trace of the image itself, they still have that cel-shaded, drawn look on there. It's perfect. I worry that it's AI, though. You know? Like, I are they just problem. putting a filter on it? Or is it just... I mean, I it might know. be a filter. Who knows? Not and us. It's the same drawing, but it is different lighting. Which yeah. It's really nice. That's kind of really very cool. nice. I'm into it. I really like it. 
Uh, still never seen it, but I'll watch it yeah. one day. One day. Uh, then we're going to go up the chain a little bit. Not really that spooky. You got Cocaine Bear. Okay. <laughs> cocaine Bear. Cocaine. Uh, so good old Cocaine Bear being a spooky movie. Only had a Blu-ray release. Now here's randomly a 4K months down the road. Right? This is not a spooky movie, right? This is full comedy. I'm pretty sure it is like full comedy. But yeah, it is like a build as spooky. So it's on the Why? bottom. I think they wanted you to think it was going to go so much more intense, but I, they should have just played was. up the campy side of it then. I know. Like, it's kind of Weekend at Bernie's, but it's a bear, right? Like, that's the whole vibe? I don't know. I don't one, know either. One day I'll watch it. I won't. Um, that sucks, because you were so excited. You're the one that told me about the movie. I just really like the original story. Like, it's kind of a sad story, but it's interesting, you well, know? For that's like, why they went full-blown comedy. Yeah, for like 17 seconds, this guy was the most fucking dangerous apex predator on the planet. And then he had a heart attack and died. But, you know. I'm really curious what happens in the movie. Like, I got to know. Yeah. Uh, Going up the list. Now, this is a good movie. And if you haven't seen this spooky movie, you got to get to watching. Always had a Blu-ray release. Getting its 4K dues. The Black Phone. (laughs) Oh, I do want to watch this one. This one's been on my list oh. since it came out. We loved Black the poster. So good. Yeah, I remember Very good. just standing this movie. Uh, super good. Good spooks. Definitely check this one out if you have not seen it. Now we're going to go Boutique a little early. Spook uh, Boutique. Arrow coming in hot, man. Here they come. Nice. You ready? Let's see it. They're doing Ringu, which is not oh. the ring. They're doing the... the the original Japanese one, Ringu, yes. right? So oh, they've the got poster. this nice artwork, a big poster of oh, the artwork, gee. right? But then on their website only, you, if you do this Arrow Video exclusive version, it has the original artwork. <gasps> oh, cool. Which is way fucking spookier to me. Yeah, I like that. I love this one. Yeah. This is very good. It's very good. Very good. Always good with Arrow with their bespoke art that they have like crafted for each movie. You know, this is like an artist doing this, right? Like this Uh, is, oh yeah, it's gotta be. And then they were like, but that original was good. So let's give them what somebody else did, you know? Hell yeah. Oh, so fucking nice. I love it. But, of course, we have to end. Now, this is a normal release. I would have thrown it way higher or earlier. But it is just so spooktastic. Had to be at the end. You ready? Okay. The 50th anniversary of The Exorcist. Yes. Which has a horrifying normal release here. (laughs) I love this picture. Dislike. It's awful. But then Best Buy was like, let's do a steelbook, man. Let's make it worse. <sighs> oh. Now, again, it does have the drawn look, but I think you're right. Because it's definitely that scene, but just with, like, kind of a filter. Because this is definitely... Yeah. You can see, like, brush strokes right here and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it's arted up somehow. I'm not sure how. But this one... You fucking talking a release. Yeah, right that's here. good. This. Classic scene in this inside. This is what we want. Yes. The pastels. The colors. This is it. Oh, man. I, I want to buy this so bad. But I will go ahead and give you guys a fair warning. Because, you know, they do like, on the place where I find out where these come out, they do like reviews of them. How good are they? Uh-huh. This is not a good 4K release. Oh, really? They're like, yeah, it's fine. Like, hmm. a lot of older movies usually shine in 4K. They're so much crisper. They were filmed on film and all that shit. Yeah. This is a pretty middle of the road. Like, it looks a little better, but it's hmm. not a standout as other ones have been. So, if you're really looking to upgrade, it's probably not that worth it. But the Steelbook, for me, is worth it. I want okay. It. Uh, and then... Let's just continue with the spooks. Here we go. But that's it for buy-in. This is the only movie I'm recommending to see today, September 15th, while you're watching Friday Roundup. Go to the theater. Go see you, A Haunting in Venice. That's today? 
That is today. Now I know oh. this isn't like spooky, spooky. No, but it but looks I mean, good. It's got some wild shit in it. I think it's got some good cast. Oh yeah, dude, Kenneth Branagh. We got Tina Fey. Fucking Michelle. Michelle Yo. Yo. If she's in it, you already know it's perfect. Yeah, this movie's gonna fucking knock my socks right off. Now, in standing with spooky posters, you know they went hard on future posters. Okay. So, we have this poster. Death was only the beginning. And then, I kind of like this one. I think it's a little better. You know, you got that, like, symmetry. He's right in the middle. All it's a that bit stuff. lopsided, or is it me? It looks heavier weighted on the on the on left, the left. Side. it is yeah yeah because this person's tiny yeah and there's like a, a child overlapping yeah weird but, but it's not the best one show me the best this one. is the minimal well this one is the best one but it's not the final one that i have or maybe, okay <laughs> maybe i have it the other way around no yeah this oh is no the best this one. is good i love this no yeah this is the best one yeah this is hands down the best one. This is a fucking poster. Yeah, they're in a seance circle staring at oh us on the floor. God, I love it. Perfect. And then, you know, just the classic one that's been out for a long I time. God, I haven't seen this one. That's good. This is I the like original that. one that I saw. Oh, before... man. I haven't seen any posters for oh, this. Dude, before I saw a trailer, this poster was up somewhere. And I was like, mm. what is this? <laughs> you know and then i finally yeah. saw it and was like oh this is not at all what this poster led me to believe okay because now i know it's you know a mystery the whole perot whatever movie stuff yeah i love him um that's a it's good but it ain't that one yeah but that one's perfect it's so good man it's so good so that is all i have for spookies and that's all i have for movies okay but it was quite the day today Oh, it was quite the day for video games. It sure was. So, so I want to lead you with the worst of those two things that happened today. Okay, yes. Which is the Sony one. Yeah. So what a waste were, of time. There were two directs today. Uh, Nintendo got up fecking early in the morning because they were like, we want to get ahead of State of Play. We want to do this right <laughs> yeah. now. But, I almost missed it. Oh, man. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Sony had a bit of a stinker today. I bet for some people it was phenomenal. I, I mean, sure. I think if some there's people. games you were looking for specifically and that game was here, this was a good show. Yeah. But for anyone else, it was okay. So, so. I'm just going to hit you with a couple highlights real quick. Uh, first of all, I'm not playing this whole thing. But uh, the Avatar game, I knew there was an Avatar game. That was coming out. Uh, just a little bit more of like a gameplay side of it, you know. Uh huh. It looks pretty good. It does. I didn't know they were actually going to do an Avatar game. So I was like, oh, interesting when I saw this. Uh, it's definitely like like a Far Cry. Like probably go take over a base. Boom, the map gets bigger and you can see stuff. Like an Assassin's Creed. Okay. Like, it's definitely yeah. going to be that kind of game. It's nothing, I think, that wholly unique. But yeah. the only reason you should be playing this game is to fly one of these guys. That is the whole reason you want this fucking game. Right? I got to say, like, the, the rendering, of course, looks solid. You know, the colors are so pretty. The shadows. Yeah. But this is the reason that I want this game. <laughs> like, yeah. I just want to do that. That's it. I'm a pilot one of these dudes. Uh, and I like that that uh, tea kettle. Why not? That's pretty cool. Uh, so anyway, Ooh, that horse is yeah they always got the weird stuff i mean oh, you've seen these movies right no i tell you not even the first the one i'm not even the first you one. gotta see the first one at least do i he invented why like, is there so much war is this still the avatar trailer yeah that's the whole movie i thought they were like a primitive peaceful species yeah and then we show up that's the point no, of the shit. movie well that sucks yeah dude you gotta watch the movie um so anyway, it comes out December 7th, I guess. Get your pre-orders on. You if know? you're really into Ubisoft games, try, I mean, that's your jam. That's your style. I wish they had released like a really cool collector's edition with this because there's a lot of potential for a really cool collector's edition. 
like yeah. some statues of them people That'd be like cool. ears so you could be one of them blue dudes you just want to wear some furry ears man <laughs> we've been talking about ears a lot <laughs> Uh, can I sway you with this, maybe, though? Can I just sway you with, um, with, with a nice-looking lady? Yeah, yeah, I mean, she's dressed for the zombie apocalypse, for sure. Um, if you know Resident Evil, you already know this is Ada Wong. She is getting a DLC for Resident Evil 4 called Separate Ways, and it comes out September 21st, actually next week. That's so soon. So play you this whole thing she's like grappling around in it and stuff and i was oh, like this yeah, is okay. not resident evil as i know it you know okay uh but i mean if you want to look at ada in these extremely high boots i mean they go all the <laughs> way up man <laughs> for maximum bite protection yeah get this game uh then this is probably i mean this was oh the God. finale to the show this is what everybody was there for yeah Final Fantasy VII Rebirth did get a release date today, and it is releasing. It's releasing on two discs, by the way. What? That's incredible. Two discs on a current gen console. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, that's nuts. Like, <laughs> this thing was what three discs when it released on the PlayStation Four. One? Four? Yeah. My God. Yeah. So they're gonna cram a lot of content in this thing. Yeah. I mean, still looks good. It's it very does. Square Enix, Final Fantasy stuff. They got, they just got a solid <laughs> look, man. I love him. That's my baby. Who? Red Thirteen, the little wolf dog guy. Yeah, I never played Final Fantasy. I like a fucking imp. Look at him. He's just the best. He's got a little eye patch. He's all scarred up. He's my, he's my hero. I love him. So I brought you this trailer for one moment because I was like recapping it for everyone in the Discord. And I was like, yeah, oh, yeah. they're like riding chocobos like up the side of a mountain and then they're flying them and i was like ah oh, that's pretty cool i was like that's that's actually kind of neat that's actually kind of cool neat. it's like a skyrim horse and then cloud on a <laughs> segway <laughs> why is he on a segway i don't know but <laughs> then i guess because you know the whole point is like sephiroth is like still around and there's people uh -huh. that are dead there, there's like a whole new storyline but for some reason you're fighting with sephiroth in this one and there was this brief moment that just really struck me because I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> are, th are they about to kiss right now? I think they're going to fall in like, love, perhaps, on the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> the way he looks at him and Cloud looks like, oh, I'm confused <laughs> right now. Like, <laughs> like, watch him. I know. Oh, man. Uh, the face that Sephiroth makes, that too. He's like, I know I'm hot. I just know. take it in. And then just the way Cloud is so like, oh. Uh? Uh? <laughs> it's like a quarter of a second it's just the best interaction i was like they literally just put that in the trailer to like make us go what just a, a little bit of fan service sprinkle it in uh, i mean there's tons of it you still got tifa and all them oh in there my God. you know yeah. and then oh, there was this guy the club scene oh yeah i forgot this guy man god i thought you'd like him i want to go to a final fantasy 7 club they have just wild shit uh, happening weird stuff and then there's like weird Mini like game? versions of game i don't know like none of this is telling you what's going on it, you're yeah you're watching all this just unfold assailed with content over and over and over again there's a lot of a lot of images yeah. coming at you in this one but it is officially releasing february 29th of 2024 next year that. so they can okay. use the leap year oh and there's a two-pack so i guess you can get Part one and part two now, all okay. in one little whatever. So if you're into Final Fantasy, that was probably your thing. There you go. Then, see, that was the only, like, kind of new news Yeah. that mattered. Because then there was, I mean, there was Spider-Man stuff, which I like. Spider-Man. I like Spider-Man. But I don't need to know anything else about this game. They've shown it all. <laughs> But then they didn't because they basically showed off like how you get around now. And it did make me way more excited because I am okay. replaying the first one like right now. Yeah. And playing that one and watching this, I was like, my God, I could do so much more shit <laughs> playing this one. You do, do you... 
was zipped through the air quite speedily. Yeah, and you have the wingsuit, so you can like Ooh. like web, go into a glide, back into webbing seamlessly, Ooh, all this kind I of stuff. They got a whole new half of the map, like it's doubled the map size, Whoa. so it's real big. They have 65 new suits, because the suits are like the bread and butter of what the game is all about. Are they you know? different? Oh yeah, there's 65 unique suits, but they also have like a shader thing in it, so all the suits can also have different colors as well. God damn, so they really put the effort in. Yeah, so there's the unique designs, but then you can color them to then make even more suits. Okay. But who cares about that? All we care about, okay, is the fact that Spider-Man has white trim. How dare they do this to our boy? I learned about this today before the state of play, and I was like, what are we fucking talking about? Apparently, they released all these uh, little cards. They're really beautiful artwork, right? Of like, hey, here's the here's the like six characters, and it's just a little one shot of each of the people. Mm-hmm. But people looked at this one and said, oh, my God, the trim what? is silver. How dare they modify How, this how could you do this? It was this perfect. Nice, man. It was black before. <laughs> Fix it. God. And so apparently. What if it just more reflective? I thought that. And then they actually made such a stink that some people from Insomniac were at like an event. And made a point to tweet, yep, trim's still black. Oh like, my god. It's a whole thing. And then in the trailer Hell. that I just played for you guys, it's silver. Oh my so god. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen when this game releases. Are we going to give this game one stars for the for the white trim? <gasps> the drama. I don't know. First they make our women <sighs> ugly, and then they give us this ugly color. But... Besides that, I save you the best for last. I save yes, you the best PlayStation news for last. Best news, please. You ready? Yes. Get the PlayStation in three new colors. Oh my Fucking god! Fucking I, I, I know you're wild. You're oh, red, white, and blue, baby. Uh, red, white, and silver. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, it's silver. Sorry. I could care fucking less <laughs> about <laughs> the colors. I don't <laughs> want this shit. Yeah, I'm sure this they're going to make you fucking for pay for it, too. The controllers are already like 80 bucks a piece. Ugh. Yeah, they're 80 bucks. That's gross. And then the shells, I'm pretty sure they're like 40 because you can just pop them off. You can just so pop like, them off and spray paint some yourself, honestly. Oh, like, I know. That was an ugly you? face I made, but <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, I'm so not enticed. Now, granted, the day that that silver one is gold. Uh, oh you God. bet your ass I'm excited. Fully bought in. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm definitely getting a gold controller the day that happens. But until then, all these colors suck. Hate them. I got to respect it, man. You know what you like, and you love it. Yep. And most people like the blue. And I did get comments today like, oh, that blue one looks good. It's like, it's okay. all right. I mean, it's... it is good. I just don't want it. I don't want it. Yeah. So that's it for PlayStation. I, <sighs> I think... The standout was Final Fantasy, but I'm not playing them. So for me, yeah. it was like, what was here? Right. And I even like Spider-Man, but I don't care. I, I've already bought the game. I already know I want it. <laughs> yeah. More info doesn't help me. Ridiculous. Okay. So, well, do we want to see what Nintendo brought to the plate today? I do, because I know they fucking smacked it at the park today. You know Nintendo do. So, okay. They love to just drop a bunch of big crazy mario news all at once so that's kind of what this oh, of course is they do. uh we got announced the mario kart dlc which no one is really surprised by this because it's been happening over and over again it's these mario kart deluxe booster course passes like they've been coming yeah. out for the past like two years now i think we've covered it in many yep. a friday roundup so um this next one is getting released uh holiday 2023 so so expect this one more soon. time from us yeah <laughs> um i also wanted to talk about these characters who is that on the left side? So this is Pauline. She is the girl is that you're Pauline? rescuing in the original Donkey Kong game. The girl that's at the oh top my God. when you're climbing wow. up and stuff. That's her. And she's the one that sings the song in Mario Odyssey. The like, 
you know the big song that was in it no <laughs> dude it was a humongous mo- if i played it you would know the song okay but like she was brought back as like a callback to his like origins because odyssey was all about like mario's beginnings kind of thing so they brought okay. her back and people like her because she's pretty and so now she she's in pretty. the game all right then you got a funky kong diddy kong yes. and this one bugs me so is this princess toadstool it's like it's called a uh, peachette peachette so there was like that whole bowsette thing remember oh yeah but this is but this is just peachette I mean, pe- peaches. Hold it's on. like it's like peach and toadette <laughs> combined. Okay, that's weird. I mean, that's exactly I how I feel. The point about of it. the characters were just to make like a lady version, and is this no. just like well, because because toadette is a girl, so therefore yeah. kind of, but like I guess well, like anyone toad can make toadette, toadette, and then Bowser and Bowsette. You don't need a peachette, like unless you're just getting a smaller peach. That's why I saw it today and was like. Why? <laughs> if you're making a smaller peach, just call her Nectarine. Why not, you know? Yeah. But no, it's just peach with pigtails. That's essentially it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. I'm done with this. Cool. Next one. We've got another Hang on. big announcement. You know who's mad that you said that? Who's mad? <laughs> 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 they got to put him in there, don't they? <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> Spicy Luigi just okay. hitting in the background. Oh my god. Okay. So next up on the slate we got Super Mario RPG. This thing, they gave us an actual date for. So this is a remake of the original Super Mario RPG, which a yes. lot of people are are big obsessed with, my husband included. So I never got into the Super Mario RPG, but I understand the appeal. I it I've looks just cool. never played it. Yeah. Yeah. I might. It just kind of I I, want I really to play don't this. like I don't I don't like how squat everybody is. Like Mario's got no you neck. Just, you just you, you, Peach you don't is like all him so smooshed. No, he's just like really just compacted. Like somebody took him and just crushed him a little bit. He looks like this. Like yeah. Shoulders up, <laughs> tense. You know. Yeah, like he's holding it in. But I love um, this guy, this like puppet dude. I have Pinocchio looking man. I've, I like. I've the little, always been about him. I like uh, the the yellow cloud man. I don't know what he is, but I'm into his face. I like his little pants. I like his little hair. Yeah. Shit. I do want to uh, play this, it. Yeah, it's coming out November 17th, so pretty Ooh, soon. Okay. Um, put this one in your calendars. I think you can pre-order it already. Like, why not, you yeah. know? Why it's going to be the full Nintendo $60 price, but it looks like a good time. And if you like Super Mario, you like RPGs. If you like Super Mario RPG, then you're going to like there you go. the remake of Super Mario RPG. <laughs> um. Okay, the next one is the one I'm super, super excited for. So oh, yeah. let's talk about Princess Peach Showtime. I Look am obsessed her, with Sword Fighter Peach. I hope they have I know. a hundred amiibos of this. <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh, I didn't even think about amiibos. How the fucking amiibos yeah. are going to be off the chain, dude. Like, this is... I, I'm obsessed. Peach has got a hundred thousand costumes in this new little game of hers. And it just looks really fun. So, like, the book is based on chapter... Or the, the game is based on a book of chapters. So, like, in each different chapter, she's doing different things. Like, you have Peach who's trying to get through this puzzle world, or Peach who's trying to be a detective and, like, hunt around this mysterious I art knew you'd like the detective. Clues. Peach. You know I'm all into that. It looks so good. I'm just... I'm in love with her. I love that we're getting a new Peach game. Like, she's gonna have her whole own IP. They're gonna start doing peach things so i I have her old game that was on the ds i still yeah haven't played it but i've been waiting for when she was going to get something else i know like it's it's time it's time for modern peach games i'm really excited to see that she has like a new thing this is detective peach are you not so thrilled by this look i just i just like the slow walk yes it's so good oh bless peach so Princess Peach Showtime is coming out on March 22nd of 2024. Baker Peach. I'm sorry. Baker Peach. Oh, I'm really into game. the Michelle Yeoh um, Kung Fu Peach. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at her. Get it. Yes. Wow. Oh, like man. Kabuki theater shit. It looks yeah. so good. Man, it's going to be great. Yeah. I'm just and, thrilled about it. And they said there were way more 
like changes so yeah i can't wait can't wait and i'm sure they're gonna have dlc for this game too because like the possibilities are endless oh yeah pre-order this thing today get your guts up there and be like hey i want this one let nintendo yeah. know that we support princess peach for sure speaking of women power you want to talk about some triangular titties uh sure they're so not they're so not triangular, as triangular. No <laughs> yeah <laughs> um this is gonna be the tomb raider one two and three remaster so it just looks like a good remaster like if you if you like tomb raider here you go here she is lara croft i Doing love that thing. they've redone all the environments and everything and it just looks just look it looks like it's gonna be a solid game you know like it looks well made yeah I mean, it's not, like, gorgeous, but yeah. it is just, you know, a little cleaner. It's updated. It's oh, not yeah. 4K HD, but it's nice. Lara um, Croft still looks the same. <laughs> they didn't give a price, and Taylor was like, how much do you think mm. it is? And I was like, I'm guessing, like, cool 40. I think that's plenty for this, right? Yeah, they might They might charge you 60. <laughs> think so? I hope it's I just know. 40, but... It is coming out on Valentine's Day, which is cute. I don't know yeah. what that's about. But. I mean, it is pre-orderable now, so I yeah. could just go check, but I haven't so far. I kind of um, want to look it up. So Taylor goes, we're... how much do you think it's going to be, right? And I was yeah. like, I'm thinking like a cool 40. And she goes, it's a lot cheaper than that Steam Deck, because we <laughs> bought the Steam Deck to play yep. the old Tomb Raiders on, like 1, 2, and 3. You sure did. <laughs> <laughs> yep and she hasn't played a single one of them and now this is coming out so it's like well that was good many yeah um one thing too that this does that you and i both love is you can like at the press of a button swap between like the old version and the new version dude that's so you can see all the different changes that should be 100 percent a standard in all remakes yeah um so this is also done by the studio aspire asper a-s-p-y-r yes. i think it's aspire yeah they were rumored to be doing, I mean, not not even rumored. They were at one point working on the KOTOR remaster, Knights of the Old Republic, oh, yeah. before that got, like, canned. <laughs> so that's, you know, something. Kay. I can't find a price. How much is it? See, I'll have to look it up later, and I'll post it as a, an addendum in the comments of this yeah, video for you, you guys. So stay tuned. Um, but yeah, pre-order today. Why not? If you love Lara Croft, here it is. Do it. Um, and then we got more Mario news. So mm -hmm. you you like Paper Mario, right? You know, I've never played one. I oh, still man. haven't even really played um The new one? It? Yeah, the new one. I started it and then not very far. I started it and then I got to like the traumatic the, point. The part, yeah. <laughs> the part and I was like, I need to put this game down for a little bit and I haven't picked it up again. So I'd like to finish it, but I haven't. Yeah. Um but all that aside, they're remaking Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, which is like the best Paper Mario game of all time. One of the best Mario games of all time. That's what they say. I'm yeah. very excited. I played this on, what was it, on GameCube? Yeah. Yeah, Richard and I played this on GameCube together within the last like five years or so. And I, I liked it. I don't think we beat it, but I liked it. Yeah. It was a good time. I knew what um, it was because I have started this through emulation somewhere. But the mm -hmm. like opening fight people were missing and i was like i don't want to play it this way because like it's gonna like taint my like overall feel for it you know like, okay i want it real and now it's here and i'm very excited here it is it's coming in 2024 no definitive date or price yet but it's on the horizon yep this was their big finale because this was the big one everyone yeah this is the big bomb that they dropped but you know what else is coming robert you know what else they're gonna do the bigger bomb the best thing in the whole gosh darn world, F-099 is here for you. Yep. It's an F-Zero game, but a I battle said, royale. The biggest bomb, but in the bad way. Who wants this? Nobody. <laughs> who, who, was, wait, who out there was, saw this and was like, oh my god, a battle royale version of F-Zero? If that's mm. you, please comment because I want to know. <laughs> I mean, all like, their 99 like games game. have been free. So, I mean, <sighs> that's the nice thing. Sure, but, like, what is this? Who is this for? <laughs> Diehard F-Zero, guys, I guess. I guess. Not me. I've never, in, 
<sighs> enjoyed one. Yeah, it's weird. Um, okay, so I got one last piece of news for us that wasn't okay. part of a state of play or a announcement today. Okay. There has been a video game story developing over the last week from Unity yes. Games. So uh, Unity is like the engine that makes quite a lot of games these days. It's a physics engine. It's it's everything's on there. So this is from AgroCrab, which I believe this is the people who developed Among Us, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't know. A lot of people have been like a lot of small developers have been posting up stuff like this. Uh, I know that the people who did Human Fall Flat, which is one of my favorite games. Okay. They came out with a statement like this as well. Um, so Unity is doing a thing where they're going to take a fee for every single download of a game made on Unity. Okay. And that is that is like <laughs> a really weird stance for a game like this, for a company like this to take. So that means regardless of how a copy of the game was obtained, it, for every copy of the game that is installed over a certain threshold, which I don't know if it's been specified what that threshold is, but yeah. I think it's low. <laughs> every single copy of that game that is installed is going to be a fee for the developer. And these are like small developers. So those fees add up, especially when these games go on Xbox Game Pass and other services where you can just download it and install it for free. And there's plenty of games that I have downloaded and installed for free that I've just never played. Yeah. So these people are getting a fee for every single game that happens like that. And it is putting them into a position where like they can't justify using the actual engine anymore. I mean, if, if you're paying what 20% of your income or something like, yeah, there's 25 million game pass subscribers. That's a lot of money that you could lose as a studio like this. Yeah. Um, it sucks. And a lot of people have said like, this is a really unfortunate one. So cult of the lamb has come out and made a statement and they said, we will be deleting our game. We are going to, take it offline download it and buy it now because we're taking it away january 1st yeah that's it after that you will not be able to get cult of the lamb anymore which you and i talked about quite a lot because cult of the lamb and it's a big game like, it's a huge game it people won, love it yeah it won awards that like game of the yeah. year or game of the game of the year game awards of, game awards game game awards god yeah. that's the words um oh. it just sucks so it's like going away <laughs> completely I yes. thought it was like going away from like, like a, um, like a platform, but I, no, I get it because Unity is the engine that like made. Okay, I got. Yeah, you. so this is the uh, Cult of the Lamb will go Flappy Bird on January first. Get it should, now. I guess I should buy it. You should do it. Um, I mean that's unless Unity pedals back on this, which everyone hopes they do because this is a really bad stance to take and it well, sucks for small developers so i remember when this got announced i've heard some further updates they've like doubled down on it oh my god that sucks like all this has come out where we're like we don't like you and they're like some people will still sucks to suck we're unity yeah. we're a big company that's just gonna keep on doing what we're doing yeah. it makes me mad like this is not a good business model <laughs> no uh, it because sucks. I mean, I saw this part in here where it says even multiple installs by the same user. Because I yeah. will admit, I've installed a game, played it, taken it off, and been like, I want to play that again. Yeah. Reinstalled it. I already own it, but just because I installed it two times, now they pay a fee for my second time. That's think outrageous. About this. There is a world in which there could be DDoS attacks on small developers like this, where uh, a group of users or a company or whatever makes specific dedicated servers to download and install a game over and over and over again and hit these yeah. people with fees over and over and over again. And that's not a user playing the game or enjoying the game. It's just like yeah. somebody doing it for spite to put you in bankruptcy. This is bad. It's bad. It sucks. That's I don't like bad. it. <laughs> Roll it back, Unity. This is not good <sighs> for gaming. I don't like that. And I looked no. them up. Agro Crab is not the Among Us people. Okay. But they did make this game that I just saw somebody playing the other day that I want really bad. They, they have this game called 
crab champion. Okay. <laughs> where it's a it's a roguelite where you are a crab that starts out with like a little bit of power. You take out enemy <laughs> crabs on these islands and open up treasure chests and then choose a power to then take to the next island and you just keep going. All right. Well, look dope. <laughs> get that game now before Unity puts this thing into effect. Yeah, might as well. I just can't believe they're doing it. It makes me so sad. And I mean, think about it too from the perspective of people that are doing sequels. Like if you have yeah. done your whole game in the engine of Unity and you're trying to reuse those assets to create a sequel to your game, yep. ain't nothing doing. Like you have to either you have to think about the sunk cost fallacy. Like are you going to just back out and say let's redevelop this entire game on a different engine, take all that time and money that we spent on this first one? And just do it again somewhere else? Or are you going to just say like, yeah. fuck it and take the game down and not be a game developer anymore? Like, what's the solution? That's nuts. It sucks. That's and really I'm sorry bad. Sorry to end this on this bomb. It's but it's tough, a big one. It's a big one. It is big. Yeah. So I'm going to be following this story. I really, really hope we have got three months for them to backpedal on this. So my advice to you, we'll find see. all the Unity games that you want. Get them now. And download them and have them forever because some of them are just going to disappear. Yeah. But that's all we got. <laughs> that's all we got. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry. No, hopefully you guys found... I found this game news very intriguing this week. Very good stuff. Yes. Uh, but hopefully you found some movies and game news that you like. We will be back next week with more. More movies to buy. More movies to see. More games to buy. More games to see. Who knows? And with that... Catch you guys next week. See ya. Bye.